God, not this again. Wow, it's kind of a, a lot louder than usual. Isn't it crazy that it was beating the entire day just like that, but only now you notice it? It gets really loud. It's like it's letting you know who's been keeping you alive all this time. It's kind of interesting. It kind of reminds me of that time in second grade when you shit yourself and the teacher told the kids to sniff around for who did it, and then everybody eventually gathered around you. Man, that was, that was some crazy shit. Your mom had to be called as well. That was embarrassing. Yeah, I, I remember that. That was really embarrassing. And um, you remember that time in high school when you... Just one second before you continue. Why do we have to do this every time I try to sleep? Like, you're, you're in my head. How come we're not on the same team? I don't know what to tell you, okay? It's just... This is just my job. Yeah, uh, shitting yourself in second grade, already been through that. Okay, so, I'm sure you remember this. Uh, I'm gonna tell you anyways. 2017, you were walking down the street. There was like a group of girls girls walking down. And you flipped instead of laughing. <laughs> this, it's so embarrassing, I can't believe it. And uh, by the way, when's the last time you checked your balls for lumps? When's the last time you did that? You gotta do that, you know? I mean, it's better, it's better you do it than some doctor. You know, touching your balls. What if, what if you just get like a random boner? How how embarrassing would that be? That would actually be worse than getting diagnosed. You know, so it's actually embarrassing. You. Yeah, I mean, I can't believe embarrassing. Man. It's, it's stupid. Why would you put yourself in that situation? I don't know anybody that would do something like that. I really don't. I mean, you are just, <laughs> you are just the epitome of. Stupid.